Everyone keep asking me one thing. How did you reach to this point? Can you share with us your life story? Well, it's the time to share the full story step by step. But here's the one thing. My journey is too big to fit into one video. So I have decided to break it into chapters, each one revealing a real piece of my life story. From the beginnings to the challenges, the turning points and everything in between. Let's start with the chapter 1, Pakistan to UAE. Today I'm gonna start with why I left Pakistan and why I choose UAE as my first carrier out of Pakistan. Actually I was working in Pakistan before and then I visited UAE. I was trying there to actually get some opportunities but I haven't got any opportunities. But what I got and is an idea and experience and that helped me to transform whoever I am or whatever the success I gained so far. It's just because of that specific move which I took to have a visit to UAE. But that's not the whole story. The story is why I left Pakistan. This is important, right? The country where I studied and did my degree, like many other people, I was graduated and I was feeling so motivated, happy, inspired, and was thinking that I'm gonna now get some better opportunity, something very special will be part of my life. I would have a job, but you know, like many other people, I was not aware that the real life is more challenging. It's not that as simple as you normally think of. So when I graduated, I was trying to find opportunities anywhere in Pakistan. I was not literally able to find some opportunities. Even I was willing to pay, oh, sorry, not to pay, to do the job without a pay. But nobody was willing to give me any job. You know why? Because they say you don't have experience. How the heck I'm gonna get an experience if you guys are not gonna give me a job? But yeah, that's our policy. If you're not experienced, you are not gonna get job. Okay, what I should do now? Gain some experience. So where I can get an experience? We don't know. If you guys are not gonna give me any chance, how the heck I'm gonna get experience? I was mad, totally out, lost, not happy, but I had a hope. Somehow something will get better and I will get an opportunity into top-notch companies. Yeah, but life is so awesome. You know, with the struggle, I'm not gonna talk about that. One fine day I landed my opportunity, first opportunity, and then I tried to learn instrumentation, automation, and then I moved on to one company, Bestway. I was working in the Bestway Cement. One fine day, I got a call. Yeah. So, like many other inspiring engineers, when I had a terrible time, very, very less salary, not able to get anything out of that, just was going and doing silly stuff whole day for nothing, I realized, look man, if you have to do something big, you have to leave Pakistan. You're not gonna be able to do anything here. Whatever you can earn here for 15 years, maybe you can earn the same amount in a one year in UAE or anywhere across anywhere in the world. So you have to, if you have to do something big, leave Pakistan. Now I tried applying here and there, trying to find opportunities, but I was not able to get a single reply. Why? I was not aware about that. And maybe like you, there are many like uh, me, them, there would be many people who are not aware why the heck they are not getting the response from the companies they are trying every day. But anyways, long story cut short, I kept on applying and I was not getting any response. I was applying maybe 100 different places no single place was giving me a response but one thing I was doing very good at that time because I had a terrible time to learn automation so I was sharing the information whatever I know 
in automation domain on LinkedIn platform. And you know one thing, I had no idea that this thing is going to help me one day. So one fine day, I opened my laptop when I was in Best Way Cement. I got a message that please share your CV on this Gmail ID. I was like, what the heck you're talking about? Some like many other people, I was like, what the heck? This guy is thinking I'm crazy. I'm mad. He's a scammer because if somebody is legit, he's going to send me uh, his official ID. But he was not sending me an official ID. So I was like, I'm not going to share it with you, with you. So I had a discussion with one of my friend and few close relatives that I got this email. Should I send my CV? And one of the my close relative or maybe friend, I don't recall the exact person. He said, are you girl? Do you have something to hide? I said, no. Then he said, go ahead and send the CV, man. Why you are getting so curious? <laughs> or why you are so hesitant to send this CV? So I said, okay, let me try. And then when I sent the CV, I was still thinking it's a scam, by the way. I was not aware at all that this is going to be a game changing stuff in my life. So what exactly happened after that? Once I sent my CV, after, you know, that three, four weeks or three, I, I had no, no sort of, after that, for almost three, four weeks, there was no response at all from there. So there was a pin drop silence and I was like, it was a scam. And now this guy is silent. He's going to come back one day and will ask for money. <laughs> but one day I got uh, another email. Can you please schedule interview for this date? By the way, same date, I have one of my best friends marriage. So instead of saying no, I said yes, because I, I want to enjoy that in a party of my friend to open up the call on the speaker and have a fun <laughs> with that guy that specific scam scammer so i wanted to have kind of a counter back but when i was there and in the marriage party on interview date when i got a call i got surprised when after two three minutes i realized it this guy is not a scammer because he's talking about something legit he's talking about some technologies which are realistic and which is out there he was talking about plc and scatter systems so if that guy is a scammer how the heck he knows that so i get myself out from that specific party and i find a you know silent corner where i started talking and i have given my interview by the way and after that almost few months later i got another email that you've been selected for a further round, you have to share this in this document. I shared all the documents. And then they said, now provide this police clearance certificate. And I, I did it three times because every time when I submit, when it expires, they were asking me again. So it took almost a year. I was not sure that it's going to happen. And, but eventually my security clearance process was executed. And then I landed my first job in UAE. When I got my letter, I was again double-minded, should I go for it or not, because I was having a very cool and awesome job nearby my house. But I decided after discussion with one of my friends, he was in Pakistan uh, working with the same plant. His name is Itisham. Itisham, if you are watching this video, I still thank you for the discussion we had when we were going for a mosque, uh, towards mosque for a Juma prayer. That was an awesome, awesome discussion I had ever with, with, with any of my friends. I got my first job and that's again in the defense sector in UAE. And when I joined that, uh, that specific role, it was a mechatronics role, like control system plus electronics and mechanical stuff as well. That changed everything because uh, I now have a job in UAE and I am earning almost maybe 10 times that I used to earn or maybe more than that. Maybe almost 15 times what I was earning in Best Way. That was 
the game changing uh, moment what i'm going to tell you like no matter whatever the situation is if you do good for others the good is going to return back to you so i'm starting a one series where i would be sharing with you my life stories step by step how i got into where i am and what were the key points like which changed my life i'm going to this is just a you know the story which started maybe in 2015 when i landed into uae first role but this is not just the end of the story that's where i the story started from there onwards i got into many roles and uh, i'm going to share every single opportunity and every single inspiring story with you guys i hope you guys would love it but the moral of this story is very simple if you do something good for others no matter how small you do it you are going to be definitely rewarded one thing is that and second thing is no matter how small window of a hope you have on some kind of a step that you take don't be shy just give it a try you know try every possible options that you have in your daily life if you got to try into thousands of the links that you normally find online on different portals do it give it a try if you try to have a discussion with the people if you try to share the content on linkedin and different platforms do it because no matter you know you, you never know when your day is going to be there and then you would be rewarded this is just a story when i landed it to ua and what was my progress journey in ua and how i landed into from that first job to the multinational big top notch company which i think every automation dreams for that's g if you're interested to watch that stick to the end of the video um not end of the video subscribe this youtube channel and uh, turn your notification on because i'm going to definitely share with you everything but that would be gradual gradually slowly and gradually you will get all the details we'll continue the journey but for now take care and bye bye